Okay, welcome back. Hopefully everyone had a good weekend. Uh, a lot of you are talking about staying up till 1 a.m. Terrible. Terrible for your health. Terrible. Okay. Uh, what is this image we are looking at? That is Lady Justice. How do you know? What gives it away? Because... Um, what are symbols that are standard to Lady Justice? The scale, the blindfold, and the... The piece of paper. Piece of paper. And, and you missed the most important one. Oh. <coughs> so someone just said it right there. Oh. The, the cave. Cave. She's a lady. Oh. She's not a man. No, she's a girl. So I can go look back from her. Okay. Uh, I don't know if the cape is really relevant, but if she wants to be extra regal, she can wear a cape. Okay. I mean, can I explain the symbols on her? What's They're all symbols. Where? Hey, let's let's bring, bring it back in. Um, yeah, this is a statue of Lady Justice. I don't know exactly where it is from, so let's 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 actually hear. I want to hear your explanation of the symbols first. Okay. So. And it relates to these questions, but I want you to take a look at these questions and think about them. We'll have a discussion on those since you were asking. The blindfold is because justice is blind. So, so Lady Justice is representing the justice system. So justice is blind, and then the scale is for like um, equality and um, equity and that kind of thing. The, the like scroll is to represent like the actual text of the of the, the law. Yeah, of the, yeah, of the law. Yeah. And I, to that, I would add that the scales. Like, what do, do I mean? We don't use scales anymore. But does anyone know what scales were used for? Weighing. Weighing. Weighing things, right? So, so maybe the scales are there to weigh out and balance the justice being done, right? Because there's always someone who commits a crime and someone to whom that crime is committed. So you need to weigh and balance those two things. Okay. Um, and I would say, you know, what inferences, do you understand this word inferences? No. So inferences, you look at something, you get an idea, more or less. What can you infer, right? Like when you look at a remote, what can you infer about what it does? Buttons. It has buttons. TV. It deals with a device or a TV, right? Mostly TV for us. Anything else? Camera. Is it just a magical device? Yes. yes. No, no, it runs on. It runs on. Look, look, cover your eyes for a moment. Cover your eyes, kids. Okay, look, there you go. It runs on magic. Okay, that's magic. I don't know what's inside those. Somehow they're stored electricity. And then, you know, you press, look, 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 I just, I just press a button. You broke it. Look, I, look, 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 I press a button. It's like, abracadabra, look at that, it's magic, okay? Whoa! Um, that's what we mean, grade nines, when we say inferences. Okay? What can you infer about that Starbucks cup? Coffee. Coffee. What else? Ice. Ice. What else? It's like like drink, right? But the first thing I said, it's from Starbucks. How can we tell it's from Starbucks? The logo. The logo. What what else? The, the straw. The color. Right. Okay. Those are inferences. Hey, let's quiet down up front. And over here. Okay. So why do you think justice is a woman? She's not a man. <laughs> why is she a woman? Why can't she be a man? <laughs> Anyone? Anyone? Any guesses? I don't know. A statue of her? Girl. Yeah, we're talking about the statue. Bro, she just came back. She just, oh, she just, oh, great nines, please. Up here. Let's get one intelligent answer. Why, why do we think justice is a woman and, you know, not a man? Because women don't get justice often. <laughs> okay, okay, well, we're not talking about anatomy here. Congratulations. Thank, thank you. You've been ogling a statue. Okay. Do you know what the word ogling means? No. Staring at, like without blinking, without looking anywhere else. Why is she a woman? Why not a man? Yeah, why not a man? Well, that's what I'm asking you. Over here. No, no, go ahead. Okay, she's gonna go, then you're gonna go. Are we listening on that side of the room? Yeah. I can't 
maybe because women didn't have as many rights. Interesting. Women don't get injustice. Yeah, kind of what she said. Make it fair? Make it, make it fair. Why do we think women are fair? Whoa, whoa, don't walk in front of the camera. Why, why, why are, are women more fair than men? We are. No. No. Oh. Terrible. I'll say that. Why do you think justice is a woman? Come on, nobody. Nobody. No, no, guys, please don't. Come on, kids. Use that magic. You take the. You take those thoughts in your brain. You speak to them. I'm going to conserve. Okay. Let's let's hear it. No, 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 your class needs your help. They're, they're like, they're around 14, they've been getting beat up. You need a 15th round KO. Come on, let's hear it. Please. I don't want to be wrong. I don't want to be wrong. Oh, there's no right or wrong answer. Wait, what? Yeah, why do you Hey, let's quiet down. Maybe because um, <clears throat> women have a historically been um, not like judges and, and things like that and like really maybe like they decided to put her as that just to like make it equal Maybe. Okay, so I lied earlier. They're all wrong answers. I think the right answer is generally, I think they make justice a woman because women are seen as more merciful, perhaps. Oh. Right? Yeah. Like, yeah, think about it this way. Like, when two guys get into an argument, it leads to a fight. Fight. Right? Fight. Fight. Wait, now, if two wait, women get into an argument, it leads to still a fight. reputation, destruction, or a fight nowadays. <laughs> right? Wait, 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 so, so. The lesson here, grade nines, is that is that uh, the lesson here is that these are perhaps um, sexist interpretations of men and women. Oh my God! Really? Okay, why is she blind? Why do you think she's blind? Let's hear. No, he's got his hand up. Unfair. Doesn't pick sides. It's gotta be fair. In, in theory. In theory. Thank you for adding that. Okay, we got more answers up here. Justice is supposed to be blind and uh, like. Okay, let's quiet down. All these little conversations. All I keep hearing is, Mr. Kawaja, we need a seating plan again. We can have a seating plan tomorrow. Like, so judges are not supposed to judge people's appearances and things like that. They're only supposed to judge like what actually took place. And it's and what took place we call that evidence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. okay, so so is there one more answer? Water. Sure, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Uh does anyone else want to add an answer? Why do you think justice <laughs> is blind? Um. <laughs> one more. Let's hear one more. Why? Why shouldn't justice take into account what it's seeing? <laughs> Terrible answer. Please excuse the interruption. If the grade 11 students could please make their way down to the common area if they need retakes. Let's hear one more. I want to hear one more good answer. One more good inference. Why is it blind? You already said something. Yeah, why is justice blind? It's 2023. Justice is neutral. Okay, it doesn't have a gender. Then why? Why? She have boobies. I know a lot of guys with those as well. Anyone? Yes. Do you, do you think? Like the other person getting. Interesting. Do, do you think that sometimes, do you think sometimes grade nines you can use your eyes to make incorrect inferences yes. about people? Yes. No. Okay. <laughs> why? Why do you think yes? Because, like, okay, um, it takes about um, I think they said point eight of a second to make. Um, inferences about someone. So as soon as you see someone, you're assuming their uh, job, their marital status, their uh, 
class status, um, everything that defines a person. You make inferences about someone. And justice is not supposed to be like that. Justice is judging people on what they have done or what they have not done. Mm -hmm. I like that you brought in that bit of science there. So it, it's very well researched. You know, it takes you less than a second to really make those observations about a person and make judgments, perhaps. They're very instantaneous. Uh, I'll give you an example myself. Once upon a time, there was a drug dealer in this building, and it took me about half a second to realize from a mile away that this person sold drugs simply by the way they were dressed. Okay. I advise this young man, I hope he watches this, I advise this young man, don't dress like that on your court dates, because the judge is going to look at you and go, oh, this guy looks like a drug dealer. And they might make a judgment based on that. Let's say you go to court for a case, and you show up dressed like a bum, do you think the judge is going to think you have remorse no. about what you did? No. If you show up sloppy, you look like you're busy and couldn't care less, you know, people make those judgments about you regardless. It's just a part of life. You know, so uh, you know, the way you dress, perceptions matter. But, so I have a question, if justice is blind, how come people in the courts always can see? How come they're not blindfolded? Why, does, why, does, why is the judge even allowed to look at the two people? Because it's metaphorical. Because it's metaphorical? Yeah. That's a pretty good response, right? That justice, the blindness is metaphorical. 